Welcome to Cross Yoga Europe. My name is Ria and I'm the host of this channel. I'll guide you through a power yoga today. It will be intermediate, which means that I'll explain some cues and some things about the postures, but not go too much in depth with the poses as we're going to move a little bit fast. If you are new to yoga, maybe you'll enjoy more looking at some of the slow yoga classes. If you're ready, find your mat and come down on your sitting bones, tall spine and sit comfortable, however that looks for you. Try to relax your knees, relax your shoulders, and maybe sit as I read a verse. Sit and move a little bit, engaging shoulders and spine and stuff like that. Some people listen better if they're moving a little bit. So close your eyes and sit still or move. <sighs> side out whatever you need to side out. Today's reading is about the victory of Christ. And I think we need to encounter this way more than we do. It was sin that made death so frightening, and law code guilt that gave his sin its leverage, its destructive power. But now, in a single victorious stroke of life, all three, sin, guilt, and death, are gone. The gift of our Master, Jesus Christ, thank God, With all this gone for us, my dear, dear friends, stand your ground. Don't hold back. Throw yourself into the work of the Master, confident that nothing you do for him is a waste of time or effort. First Corinthians 15, the message version. Just sit with the reading for a bit. Where in your life do you need more victory? As you breathe slowly and deeply, I'll start off with a prayer. Maybe you'll turn your palms up. God, help us to live in your victory. Knowing that you have won over guilt, shame, sickness, sin. Help us not to live in the shadows, but live in your light of victory. In every day, in every decision. Let us be confident that you have power right now. And that we will experience it full and complete harmony and in complete fullness in heaven. Christ, show us your victory in our lives. Take a deep inhale and sigh out as an amen. Fold your fingers, take your palms to the front, just pushing your shoulders to the front of your chest, 
And then lifting your hands towards the sky. Making a tall spine, looking up. Somehow victory for me is looking up. It's because when you look up, especially if you take your arms out to the side, it's about standing with an open chest, being completely vulnerable, but still victorious, right? I am standing here, or sitting right now, strong in Christ's love. He won over death. <laughs> Do I hear a hallelujah? <laughs> then take your hands up again, palms together. Hold your hands and move your hands to the front. A little bit of wrist and spine warm up. Hands again to the top of your head like a crown. Let go of your hands out to the side. Let's take our palms together again on top of our head. Fold our hands and move our hands, palms out. One last time, just arching your back as much as you need. And maybe engage your ujjayi breath. That snoring sound on your exhale. Hands up. And let's find our downward facing dog. Not too much warming up today. Spread out your fingers, move your hips back and walk your dog. Breathing. And I'm not that kind of Christian that believes if you just speak victorious words or believe enough that everything will be all right. <laughs> I believe in Christ. I believe in his death and resurrection on the cross and I believe he's the master and I just have to live my life in his pace. <laughs> Take your inhale to your plank, maybe wave it forward, stack your hands and shoulders, engage your core, move it back, exhale, down dog. A few more times, inhale, plank, and exhale. Two more times, inhale, rolling to the front end of your mat slowly. Making sure you don't high back, extend your elbows and move slowly back, lowering down your heels. One more time. And move back. Some salutations, let's do that. Walk to the front end of the mat. Have some distance in between your feet, forward fold, high mountain, stand up, engage your core, you lift up, maybe again looking up, and I'll do a different version of sun salutation. So we lean back, opening up our chest, saying, God, you won, you have all victory. <laughs> Palms together, forward fold. Make sure you bend your knees if you need to. Have lift. Find your plank, palms down on your mat, or knees or toes, lower down, elbows by your rib, engage your core as you lower down your belly on the mat. Lifting your chest away oh, and lowering it down again. Yes, we're gonna lift our feet next. So hovering your head above your mat, lift up your feet, engage your lower back, tuck your feet under. So you're ready to get your plank as you lower down your feet. Plank pose, elbows by your ribs, and down dog. Inhale and exhale in your down dog. Jump or walk on your next inhale to the front end of your mat. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, high mountain. And exhale, opening up your chest. Christ, you have risen. Inhale, straight spine, hands above your head. And exhale, forward fold, repeating. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plank to low plank. Shoulders a little bit in front of your hands. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down again, hovering over the mats. Using your lower back, inhale, lift your leg. Tuck your toes under, exhale, lower toes down. Plank, get those arms engaged. And down, dog, beautiful. Breathe. Two 
two more times inhale walk or jump front exhale forward fold high mountain inhale and lean back opening up your chest receiving high mountain inhale exhale forward fold half lift inhale plank little plank exhale chest lift stretch to engage your shoulders inhale and lower down legs inhale lift them high <laughs> and lower down tucking your toes inhale plank exhale down dog again breathe Next, inhale to the front end of your mat. One last time, forward fold. High mountain, inhale. Maybe side it out. Back bend. High mountain, inhale. Moving slowly, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale again, plank, low plank. Lowering slowly down, lifting your chest, inhale, and exhale, down, leg lifts, toes underneath, exhale, lowering down, plank, try to lift slowly, inhale, beautiful, exhale, down dog, again, breathe. Jump the walk, front end of your mat. Forward fold, exhale. High mountain, inhale. And then regular mountain, hands down by your side. So guilt, shame has no victory, has no word in our lives anymore. Hmm. Take your hands again above your head, hands just above your shoulders, and right leg, I'm going to do a little bit of balance here, it's going to move back, coming into a warrior three at least for a moment, lean forward, closed hip, and then we're going to get the right leg that you have lifted together with your left elbows. Trying to stay here. Knee and elbow meet underneath yourself. It doesn't have to look really pretty. And lift out, lengthen again. Do this a few more times. A lot of footwork here. And our fullness and balance is maybe not <laughs> there yet, but never mind. All right, last time, hands down on the mat and lift up your right leg even further up against the, the ceiling or the heavens, opening up your hip now, doing your ballerina foot, forward fold with a split as much as you can get it going. Beautiful. Lower down, right foot to the back end of your mat. And let's do a little bit of stretching. So walk your hands back, stretch out both legs as much as possible, and forward fold. Again, bending front knee, crescent lunge. Knee and ankle above each other and lift up. Let's see if you can find some. Balance, straighten out that back leg as much as possible and going low if you want to get warm today. Take your right elbow down, left elbow on top of it and do your eagle hands, either just toes or, sorry, thumbs, <laughs> scooping around or maybe a palms meet. Looking up, getting into a small back bend. And 
from here, looking down again, we're gonna do our eagle pose. So maybe you tuck that back foot a little bit closer. <sighs> Breathe and slowly take that right leg, scoop it around, crossing your legs, maybe wrapping your foot all the way around. Remembering you need to bend your knees to get there. Lift your elbows away from your chest and take your hands away from your head. Shoulders down and stay for a few more breaths. Let's release, both feet down and maybe take a huge inhale, hands above your head and exhale, forward fold, half lift, inhale, plank to low plank and then try to stay in your low, low plank, stay in your low plank, hovering over your mat, take your shoulders away, engage your core, breathe. Beautiful. Toenails on the ground, hips on the ground, hands a little bit in front of you. Lift up in your cobra. Back bend, relax your glutes there. <sighs> and lower down. Downward facing dog, meaning taking your hands a little bit underneath your shoulders but behind your shoulders tucking your toes plank and down dog walk yourself <laughs> to the right position on the mat i keep moving a little bit around and that's perfectly normal take your shoulders away from your ears and if you're used to doing yoga probably you are since you you're dared to <laughs> to take this video make sure your heels go low lift your hip back away from your hands feel that stre stretch on your hamstrings and your back gentle walk on your next inhale front end of your mat forward forward high mountain hands above your head Take your shoulders down. Stand tall, stand strong. Warrior three, yet again. Trying to mix it up a little bit. Left foot moves behind you this time. Flexing your foot as you lean forward. Of course, you're welcome to stay here if you like. But what we did before was well, now opposite direction, of course. Right elbow, left knee meets underneath yourself. Now your left hand just stays. And release and just stretch out. Engage your core. I'm completely focused here, looking down on the ground. Actually, almost looking on my Bible. Maybe that's a prophetic word. <laughs> Do your thing here one last time. And when you're warrior three next time, hands down on your mat, open up your hip. This time not flexing your foot, forehead trying to reach your knee. Awesome. Slowly lower down, left foot. Let's stretch. Move your hands back, back heel reaches or <laughs> lean towards the floor. Forward fold, toes pointing up. Again, bent front knee, knee and ankle above each other. Crescent lunge. Hands above your head. <sighs> Lower down. Make yourself as comfortable as you can here. Left elbow down. Right elbow on top of it. Hands around. Eagle arms, I call them. Back bending, lifting up your chest. 
going low with your front knee if you like. Back to our regular crescent lunge. Picturing yourself walking into your eagle pose. And then let's do it. Tucking that toe a little bit further to watch our front leg. Bending down slowly, wrapping left leg around, squeezing your inner thighs. Sitting down. And we move our hands away and shoulders down and all that. Breathe. One last victorious breath. And let go. Out with the eagle arms. Hands out to the side. Lift up, forward fold. Find your plank. Walk or jump back. Again, it's time to stay in a low plank. Keep your elbows tucked into your ribs. Shoulders away from your ears. Smile. And lower down, beautiful. Bending your knees, going into our bow pose, I think it's called. See if you can get a hold of your ankles. Flexing your foot, really important to engage your foot there. 90 degree angle in your knee, and then push your feet, ankle into your hands. Lifting your knee, lifting your chest. Giles pose. Toenails on the ground, some distance in between your knees, forehead on the mat. And just listen one more time. But now in a single victorious stroke of life, all three, sin, guilt, and death are gone. The gift of our Master Jesus Christ. Thank God. With all this going for us, dear, dear friends, stand your ground. And don't hold back. Where do you need to stand your ground and not hold back? Is there any place where that is a word to you today? Stand your ground, not hold back. Take your hands in front of your mat again, find down dog. Take your left leg and lift it up, move your foot to the front end of your mat. Now I hope you can watch the screen as I'm gonna turn here. And today, feet pointing a little bit out as we're gonna do a little bit of a squat pose. So come into your standing pose, toes pointing out and then lower down about here or even lower here. Take your hands on your thighs, pinky fingers towards your knee, tuck your tailbone underneath yourself. Huge inhale, and then right shoulder moves towards your left side. Twisting, inhale, lift your chest, and exhale, move down. Continue to do that. You will feel this in your quads, at least if you go low. Sitting bone down, making sure knees doesn't fall in like mine here. Lifting through the arc of the foot. 
Maybe looking up, feeling you can lower your shoulders even more. One more time on each side. Beautiful. Lifting up, maybe stretching your legs. Take your hands out. Gonna do cactus hands and then lower down in our squat. Bending your elbows, lower down, 90 degree angle in our elbows. And this we're gonna do with our breath. So exhale, Ujjayi breath, and inhale, arms up. Okay, it's your root lock at least when you lift up, but also when you come down, if you can. Use a lot of energy pulling or moving our knees out three more times going as low as you can beautiful last one all right point your toes a little bit uh, to the front so t feet are aligned with the short end of your mat and then come up on your toes, the front of your foot here. Try to keep your balance. And let's go down, prayer pose on our toes, heels lifted, a little bit of weird balance. <laughs> Beautiful. Take your front foot, move it aligned with the long end of your mat, and move your back feet further back warrior two the longer distance in between your heels the more power <laughs> in your legs again engage your core root lock and then find our binding front hand move to the inside of the foot here the other hand up, this could be step one. Step two, taking your hand behind you. I'm gonna do the opposite side so you'll be able to see. And wrapping the hand on your mat underneath your knee and see if you can find your hands. Now your chest should not be towards the floor. You should lift your top shoulder further towards the sky and try to stay there. A few more breaths. Um, let go hands down the mat lift your back heel step that front foot back <sighs> three-legged dog and maybe you keep that foot lifted as you move into your plank and you inhale lower down and you exhale inhale both feet toenails on the ground Cobra up dog inhale down dog exhale <sighs> side it out Let's get some noise going on here. Don't hold back, okay? <sighs> God knows what is going on inside you, so let's not hold back. Say it out to God as a prayer or a desperation or a praise, whatever. <sighs> Lion breath, also very, very welcome. Take your right leg and lift it up. Move it to the front end of your mat. Now we're not going to repeat what we did with our squats and stuff. We just need that on one side. So we're going to twist or turn, pivot the back foot. Warrior two. Hands out, hips down, aligned with your heels, looking to the front end of your hands. And of course, binding this place also. Front hand down, the other hand towards the sky. Take that hand behind you, just keep it there if that's enough. Underneath your knee, see if the hands can reach each other. And then lift up your top shoulder. 
really deep shoulder stretch, as well as a lot of strength in our front leg here. Keep your jai breath going. And release. Hands down on the mat, lifting back heel, making sure your knee is not twisted in an unhealthy way. Right leg lifts up, three-legged dog. We're going to do our vinyasa flow, maybe with your leg lifted. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra, up dog. Inhale. And down dog. Child's pose, whatever you prefer. If you're in child's pose, relax. So the last part of the verse, it's uh, 58. Throw yourself into the work of the master, confident that nothing you do for him is a waste of time and or effort. Confident that nothing you do for him is a waste of time or effort. <sighs> wow, I needed that. Come up on all fours and then sit down on your mat. Gonna do a little bit of abs now. Let's get our boat going. So lean back and maybe you'll lift up your feet if that's an option for you. Hands down and make sure, or by your side here, make sure you don't uh, arch your back completely, but straighten up your shoulders. And of course, you can make this more difficult. So you can go down on your back very gently and slowly or stay here. So I would let you choose. So gently come down if you want. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Hovering again, this time the other direction and then use your core. Come up to see the pose again. Two more times. If you don't do this, just stay in your boat, boat pose. Last time. Take your hands, feet down, hands down on the mat. Release and let go. Take your feet somewhat close to your hips. Bridge pluck pose. Use your root lock and lift up your hips, making sure knees doesn't squeeze apart, still hip width apart. Walk your shoulder blades together underneath yourself and maybe you fold your fingers underneath you. We're gonna stay here and then in a moment I'll invite you to full wheel or bridge. But engaging, you're sitting, bone muscles, <laughs> glutes. Watts lifting through our heel. Either stay here or gently lower down. Take your hands up by your ears, fingers point towards your feet. Lift up your hip and move into wheel pose. down with your head down if you're in bridge pose walk your shoulders out come down your mat hug your knees <sighs> one last thing take your right leg out now either if you want a little bit more gentle bending this left knee Engage your core as your foot is not reaching the mat or the floor. And then switch. 
Now, if you want a little bit more, straighten out both legs and switch like a scissor, but in that direction, not that. Your lower back lumbar here is squeezed towards the mat. Keep moving a little bit more. In yoga, it's not that often that we engage our abs like that. So, but today, <laughs> it's a day, victorious day. Four, three, and two, and one. Relax your abs. Feet on the ground, knees point to wash each other. And you can stay here or get into your resting pose. I'll read the verse one last time. And maybe it will be like a prayer for you. Trying to get all those things that might be defeated in your life, lifted to Christ and say, Christ, I know you have victory over this. Maybe you'll experience a miracle. Maybe it will be baby steps. Only God knows. With all of this going for us, the victory of Christ, dear, dear friends, Stand your ground. God help me stand my ground. And not hold back. God help me not to hold back. Let excuses hold me back. Throw yourself into the work of the master. Throwing ourselves is not holding back. <laughs> confident that nothing you do for him is a waste of time or effort. God, help me to trust that be confident that nothing I do for you is a waste of time and effort. Welcome to stay longer on your mats, maybe resting in God's victorious love. Wow, what a love. Went on the cross and rose again. Nothing has been, is left to be defeated. <laughs> From my heart to your heart, it's God's blessing and peace. And I hope to see you again on this channel. Thank you so much.